Hi, my name is Melissa Hurt, and in this video, I'm going to share with you one of my favorite standing poses, awkward chair pose. So you want to start in mountain pose. Feel the four corners of your feet. That's the mounds beneath the big toe, mounds beneath the pinky toe, inner heel, outer heel. Like those lines are making an X and you're grounded down to activate the arches. Sometimes you can rock from heel to toe just to feel the length of your feet, spread your toes to feel that lateral arch ground down. I'll place my hands on my hips and I'll bend my knees, really sink the hips back while spreading the toes, finding those arches. And I'm beginning to find the base of the pose. I can see my toes, my knees are not ahead of my toes, they're behind. So I know I'm strong in my legs. And variation one is keeping the hands on the hips. We'll breathe here, just about three breaths. Keep your breath free and easy. And then at the end of your third breath, go ahead and ground through your feet, rise up. And now we'll add the next level to this pose, variation two. This time we're going to sink the hips back and we're going to include the arms. The hands are about the width of a yoga block. I can look up at my hands or keep my gaze straight ahead. Again, my neck is free. I'm not bunching my shoulders to my ears. Still strong in the legs, active in the feet. Breathe here for three to five breaths. And then inhale to rise up. A nice counter pose for awkward chair pose is a nice forward fold. Use yoga blocks if you can't touch the floor or just bring your hands out to your shin bones and that's fine too. Get a nice release here, folding from the hips. Spine is nice and long. And then rise up, feel your breath. Come back to mountain pose. There you have it, awkward chair pose. What a great pose for strengthening and stabilizing the hips and core. Share this video with anyone who you feel could benefit from it. Subscribe to my channel and leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Thank you so much. Be well.